Honestly, I was attracted to the body of work. I, I loved the script. It read like a dramatic thriller, and I, I always found it a challenge, and when it's done well, to pick um, sort of many different storylines work within one film, and I thought the script did an excellent job of it. And Henry Alex Rubin was a director that I uh, very much admired and loved his film, film Murder Brawl, and I thought, gosh, what a perfect director for this film. It should feel... Uh, very voyeuristic. It should feel as if we are um, looking into the lives of any American or any human being in the world, quite frankly. It's really a human story, and it's really a story about human beings living in this new age where the Internet and the digital age is going nowhere, and, and how are we now interacting as human beings with one another, and how does that affect our relationships? It's this brave new world. Well, Disconnect is speaking about... Um, how do we, how can you be so connected in some ways to be able to talk to someone in Japan or anywhere in the world and, and find like-minded souls and yet you can have a, a, human, a warm body in your house and not be interacting with them and, and how do we find our way back to one another and, and find a balance and, and, and I think really it's, it, it examines the, just the life that we're all living in right now and it's a cautionary tale in some ways. In some ways it's just, it reveals um, what so many people have been through and are going through as we speak. Well, I mean, I, I guess the iPhone, I couldn't live with that. I mean, I just, it's a, when you don't have your phone, when you can't find your phone, and all the information on your phone is on the internet, my God, it's like the most frightening thing in the world. So that's probably the first, and then after that, I'm really into the iPad. It's so light. Are you ready for, you. for technology <laughs> rehab, or are you okay oh, with all this? Oh, actually, I don't, I don't need, I don't, I'm, I'm far from needing rehab, because I do, I, I, I have a healthy dif distance from it all. I'm not someone who spends my days on the internet, no. Or needing technology. Of course. And, and uh, that's the challenge of playing any new character and, um, and digging deep within yourself and having to deal with this sort of subject matter. It's always a challenge and it always uh, tests you. And, it, and, and I always try to find some, even if it's just a grain of sand that's like me to the character. I, it's very important for me to find something in myself that is like the person I'm playing so that I have compassion and can connect and I don't judge the character and uh, and then I feel and then I just sort of release myself to it and it's it's the joy of acting for me. I mean no I'm, I honestly is remembering that even when you're going through tough times you're like this I love this person and can I back off this issue, pick your battle. I mean, I think Cindy Hall loves her husband dearly and is reaching out to him, and he um, is not there for her, and, and we all find ourselves in a time when you feel like you've lost everything and you find yourself in a very desperate place, and then you make a connection with somebody, and, and, but then when your husband comes back to you and you have to fight for your lives to get your life back and right the wrong that's been done to you, you team up and you sort of are thankful for um, this terrible thing that's happened because in, in many ways it brings them closer together and makes them realize that material things are not important but their love is most. Henry's a great director in that he understands how much to um, give and then lay back. You know, we, he, he creates a scene and lets you know what he needs out of it and then he gives the actor the room to feel it out. Oftentimes we would get into a scene and we wouldn't actually really know exactly how we want to shoot it or where we feel like we'd be sitting and, and, and we would just play it out and play it out until we felt comfortable, all of us. And in that, sometimes the dialogue changed a bit or, or our reactions to one another. We, we can't guess what that will be and that's to me when acting is at its best and the most fun is when you don't know what you're going to do next. You were completely in the moment and he allowed for that kind of environment and even better than that, he really never had the camera in your face. It felt as if you were just living this life. Often, I remember very particularly this scene where I was walking through the house and I was getting going talking to the people on the bank and I'm finding out that we've lost all our money. There wasn't a camera in the house. I was by myself in the house the way Cindy would be by herself in the house. They had the camera outside through one window, and I mean, I think there was another camera somewhere else, but I didn't see any of them. And gosh, it was a really amazing experience. It, it really helps you uh, feel like it's as real as can be.
Do knock on wood. I knock on it every day. Oh my God. I'm like, when they ask you for your social security number, I'm like, uh, do I have to give that? Okay, because I'm scared. And I've had so many friends have that credit card fraud and identity theft. And I just thank God that I haven't had that yet. But just when you say it, it scares me. It puts me, <laughs> puts me into a panic. <laughs> it's a horrible thing, but so many people experience it. It can't be the end of the world. I'm too hopeful for that. I just think we can't resist change, you know? I'm just, it, you have to go with the flow. When you resist it, you, you keep yourself behind and no one's going to go back and find you. <laughs> You've got to keep moving forward and accept it and find your peace with it and find a way to make it comfortable for yourself. But um, it's here to stay. Grandma, grandpa, great grandpas, they're all using it now. And they're all like, did you know? No, I didn't know. Please don't tell me. <laughs> I saw this picture of you. Oh, God. Absolutely. And I think that, you, listen, we can't put rules on it because that's too difficult. But hopefully the film makes you realize we have to have a balance and that human beings need to interact the way you and I are right here in a physical way, not just you alone in a room with somebody that may or may not exist. And I think that that's when you have, when you see the crimes that you've seen in America and the great tragedies is that people have become so disconnected and uh, living in their own bubble. And as human beings, we need to interact with one another and we need to you know, butt heads and confront one another and love one another and hug one another. We need, we need that physical content, contact. And so hopefully this film makes people realize we need to have more balance.